Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and a very happy after Thanksgiving. Happy holidays to you all. Hope you all had a great time, ate lots of food, and just had a, an awesome time uh, hanging out with the family or shopping. I don't know. Anyways, today I got three new Mirage Comics TMNT figures from NECA Toys to show off. We have the first one, Renette, the time traveler. A lot of people. Not too familiar with this particular character, not to worry, I'll get you all caught up, but I really like the packaging on these new NECA figures, I like just the squared, angular boxes, nice bright photos, nice illustrations by Kevin Eastman, on the bottom, shows you everyone involved with the creation of this figure, thank you very much for that, and... Here is the barcode as well. She's starting to hit the Target store shelves if you are interested. And next up, we have figure number two, the Utrom, which is just all kinds of awesome for me. I love the way that these guys look ever since the original Ninja Turtle comics. Yada yada. It's just, it's a lot of fun seeing these made into action figures now, again, here's everyone with the creation of this particular figure. So thank you very much for that as well. And here is the barcode. They're not starting to hit store shelves just yet, but expect them at Walmart pretty soon. Along with Casey Jones, who is starting to hit Walmart store shelves as well. Lots of stuff hitting, of course, holiday season. But uh, just stay vigilant. I'm sure you'll find them soon enough. Love the artwork on the sides of the box. And the photos of the figure on the back side. And like I previously said, everyone involved, barcode, yada yada. Keep in mind, these are kind of alternate color IDW versions where they kind of recolored them for whatever reason. So there are the Mirage comics, which I know and love and know the certain colors of what these characters should be. For instance, Renette should be blue, just as she is on the cover of book three for these graphic novel compilations, and I absolutely love these. Here's a quick story for you. Found book two with my grandfather years ago at Pick and Save, no joke, for those of you who remember, and the rest came from a garage sale for 25 cents each. This was a very, very long time ago, but just keep that in mind. These are like alternate IDW colors as opposed to the Mirage colors, but they're the Mirage figures. You know what I mean? Does this make any sense? If you don't like these colors, wait for the ones that are coming soon, but we'll just take a look at the figures so you know what to expect. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new... Kevin Eastman and Peter Lair's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Mirage Series Wave 1, featuring the Utrom, Renette, and Casey Jones by NECA Toys. And of course, once you undo all the little twisty ties and pull out quite extensive amount of accessories, here's everything taken out of the packaging. And I gotta tell you right off the bat, I'll save you some time. Well, you're looking at three really decent, awesome action figures right here. But, I mean, they're NECA, they're TMNT, you kind of know what to expect. And I'll start it off with, let's say, the least favorite of the group, even though it's a great figure, right? Casey Jones in the comic book attire. Don't get me wrong, just hear me out on this. I have so many Casey Jones, so it's kind of like, eh, but you get a couple extra hands. I like the black outlines, of course, the extra head portrait, the unmasked Casey Jones. You even get an extra mask, the hockey mask. Got some nice brown highlights in the hair, really brings forth all the little black marks, really emphasize that. And I like the mask is a little squishy. That's nice as well. So if you wanted to have this head portrait on all the time, you could just have this on Casey Jones and you could remove it, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. You know what I mean? But just something to keep in mind, the little part where it fits over the back of his head really doesn't stretch, really doesn't form fit. You get several Casey Jones weapons like a hockey stick. Again, all the black accentuating marks especially on the long driver right here. Looks great. It's just awesome. You got the two baseball bats, cricket bats, all the wraps. They're painted beautifully. Got to give it to him along with his golf bag, his carrying bag. It's nice and squishy. He does have the strap right there. You can fit that over his head and the neck and everything else. So you can put all the different weapons in there and it stays and it looks good. Drape it across his shoulder, everything else. The, the attention to detail and the black marks really make this awesome as is the casey jones and like i was saying it's at the bottom for me but it's certainly not a bad figure in any way shape or form it's actually 
a really awesome looking figure, depending on the color choice, right? Red, blue, it depends on which figures you want to get in the color scheme you want, but everything is detailed out, all the different marks. It's painted to the nines, and their attention to detail with all their different cartoons and the graphic novels and the movie and everything else shows that NECA pays attention, and I like that. The one snag I'm going to tell you is that you're going to want to heat this guy up, especially in the arms. The legs are pretty much okay, good to go, but the elbows, the elbow joints, you want to go really easy with those. You don't want to break anything. You don't want to snap. There's really not much in terms of ab, even though it does twist a little bit. doesn't move at all on mine. Like I said, the legs will kick out. He does have more of a rubber diaper, but it fits, and it works really well. They've got that down to a T. You get a little bit of a thigh. The knees... Pretty much good to go. Not really anything you have to worry about there. And the feet are largely good as well. So, again, just go slow as usual. Most NECA toys, as I always advise, heat them up, but go real easy in terms of the arms. But when you have everything loaded up, you got the strap across his chest and everything else, he looks good. That's a good-looking graphic novel, comic book, Mirage Comics Casey Jones. And I have no qualms with it other than, yeah, I like the red sweatpants better. It's just what I'm used to, right? You can get them in all the Gungala poses that you want, but always keep in mind, they are supposed to be black and white, right? So that's another thing. Colors, black and white. It's up to you and how you choose to display your figures, get them all. It's up to you. But the unmasked holding the mask with one of the weapons, hey, that looks great as well. Now, Coming into my second favorite figure right here is the Utram, the prelude to Krang, right? But don't call them a Krang. Uh, these are Utrams and their little robotic exosuits, right? He does come with a perfect recreated gun right from the comic books, even down little hatch marks right there. I love this thing. This looks fantastic. It's one of those cool space 80s weapons. And they did a great job with it. He also comes with other space weapons. Not so much. It's more like tools, right? Colored in red. You can kind of see them throughout the comics, the colored graphic novels in many ways, shapes, and form. These, though, I think are maybe along the lines of the recolored versions as opposed to I don't really recall them seeing in red. However, this battle damage Utrom head right here is awesome. This thing... Just go easy on the little parts that are kind of flayed out a little bit, just to point that out. But man, oh man, they nailed that. And I love the overspray of the eye. It makes it look like it's glowing yellow inside there. You got the white highlights. You get a little bit of a gray with the black lines. It's awesome. As with this little drink, <laughs> a little cocktail for the Utrams. Remember, Splinter walks in and he's like, ho, oh, Okay, that's something, right? So you can give that to the little Utram Krang looking guy. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, sitting on vacation. And then you get a couple pairs of extra hands. And again, if you look at all the sculpted out details down to the comic book source material right there, you can see, obviously, these are kind of a take on Terminator. You know what I mean? In many ways. But I like that they perfectly capture that. Little gray highlights. It's it's stellar. This figure is killer. It's gorgeous. It's a piece of art right here. I love the way this thing looks. The little sprays of the gray paint, the white highlights, the blues. Everything looks good on this guy. Can't complain at all. The articulation is pretty solid. Exactly what I'm looking for in terms of a Utrom, right? Biomechanical, everything else. And the cool part is that, I mean, they detailed it to the nines, even more so than maybe in the comics and many of the different panels. When you get in the close up, you can definitely see it. The head is awesome. It's spooky from the battle damage to this head right here. It looks awesome. The eyes really make it pop. The articulation, I'll tell you honestly, not so much heating up as opposed to, let's say, Casey Jones. You get the arms going, they look great. The head will, of course, turn left and right. You get some nice movement out of them. will go up, will go down. So it's a robot. It's pretty much in the comics. They don't do a whole lot except for walk around and maybe sit down and go on their knees to let the Utrams escape into a portal. But I love this right here on the knees where it's robotic looking, and that's exactly where a joint would be on a robot. You know what I mean? The foot articulation rocks up, down, left, right. And just the fact that you have some upper diaphragm really looks good despite having a big old 
Utram in the middle. He does have, or at least appears to have, some waist. Plus, the Utram comes out, which is awesome. You get to see the little stomach cavity of the robots. But I love that he's removable. That's really cool. So you got this little guy in the original colored Mirage graphic novels. It's more of like a purpley kind of Krang. This one looks more like Krang in many ways. So I'm thinking it's more like the IDW, maybe type recolors. But either way, it works for me. I will definitely get a purple version if that's a thing later down the road. I'll get all the versions because I absolutely love the Ooptrom. And I wouldn't mind a few more of these guys. But as you can see, he holds... All of the various weapons, all the tools, the hands fit perfectly. They're a little bit gummy, so they work with you. Nothing you have to worry about it snapping or anything else like that. They hold the gun perfectly. You can get him all posed out. You got soldiers invading the TCRI building. You got to get the turtles and Splinter to safety. You know what I mean? Like, it's it, they, they know what they're doing. Neck and nose, they pay attention. And that head is right out of the comic book panel right there. As is Little Drink for the Utrom. Very well done. Which finally brings us to the third and final figure of this wave, Renette. And again, can't say enough nice things. This is my favorite figure. This is great. Despite her being red, Renette is definitely blue. Let's just say that right at the bat. You got a couple extra hands for Renette. She looks awesome. She's a very obscure character, but Really one that's known if you're a big TMNT fan because she does come with her knife. This is more along the lines of you see her with it on various covers and such. Not so much a weapon that she uses, maybe towards the end of the story. She does come with a scroll. It's really well done, really well painted, and I hope that it's a bit of a tease for something maybe coming down the road because I would love a Cerebus figure to go along with Renette and all the other time-traveling story heroes and villains that they got with this because she comes with the time scepter the sands of time look at how well painted this is it looks great maybe a savanti romero on the way who knows that would make for a great action figure i'm just going to tell you that but just the way that they did it man that looks so cool the little hand like the monkey paw <laughs> you know what i mean the sand down to the base yellows browns it they they nailed it that looks awesome and then you have Renette's. And this is her, we'll say, unhelmeted look with the blonde hair, which totally works. Nice black accents, gives her that very graphic novel feel. And you got the little part right here, looks like she pulled it down. Now, this guy right here, a lot of people are going to go, what in the heck is this? Well, this is like the celestial version of Lord Simultaneous. And you can see he's mostly seen as a floating head until the end, where he's like a little midget looking guy. But you get the idea. I think they nailed it. The only thing I would say, if it, they could have attached maybe a stand or something that attached to Renette, like it's like a whoosh of energy flying out from her back. That would have been awesome because Renette, that's a great looking figure right there. Again, just imagine her blue, but the red version works just as well. Go really easy with the helmet. You don't want to break anything off. Very brittle looking. The paint is great. She's a very well-endowed figure. I'm going to give it to him. It's nice to see a woman figure, right, that they don't hold back on it. The browns, the flesh-colored legs, everything looks good. Peg holes on the bottom. All the little clocks go all the way around. You've got the black accent marks. Makes it look like Captain America chainmail, right? The cape is awesome. It's got a bendy wire in it. It really flows. I would say the only hiccup with the cape is more around her shoulders where it tends to get bunched up a little bit, but it's a minor inconvenience. You just have to flatten it out but and make it work. That's all I'm going to say. But overall, it's a great looking figure. The head portrait on the more helmeted version is great. The helmet comes off. So again, just be careful, but everything is painted beautifully. No problems whatsoever with there. Just form fits over her head, which is nice. Pull the head off which is kind of snug. Just keep that in mind. You could pull the cape off as well, which is totally cool. And thus you can put the unhelmeted head on there with her little mask draping back. So looks good. You can go either way, which is totally cool. We'll just leave the cape off in terms of showing the articulation because that is my only gripe again with the articulation. The head works. No problems there. Either head, totally cool with the helmet without the arms. I'm telling you right now, heat this up or there, you might have problems. I'm just going to really, really emphasize that the hands work. She does have a bit of an upper diaphragm, which is okay. Totally works. Not much movement, but it is there. The legs, no problems whatsoever. The knees, definitely heat these up. 
across the board, all three figures, just take what I'm saying, just heat them up because you don't want to break anything, snap anything. It makes you very nervous. So it's kind of a backtrack for NECA in that sense. But it's just something we kind of expected, but not something that we should just be like, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? It's we need to find that sweet spot. When you pose her out, you give her the knife, capes off, unhelmeted, whatever, looks pretty darn cool. But when she's all time sceptered out, stealing the old thing from Lord Simultaneous, getting away with it, you can have the disembodied head of Lord Simultaneous screaming at her, Run it! you know, that it's just is awesome. Go back, Go back and hang out with Sarah. Oh, and hey, if you were wondering if you wanted an extra head portrait for, I don't know, your Marvel Legends Professor X, well, just keep in mind, it's not really going to fit because the peg holes do not match up. Now, here are all my Mirage TMNT figures from NECA thus far. I don't have their original Turtles. I don't have the Shredder. Just wasn't grabbing them back then. Wasn't ready to start a new line, right? Life happens. But uh, yeah, here's all the figures thus far, and they all scale well together. Nice selection. Depending if you like black and white, the various colors, what have you, uh, they're pretty darn awesome figures. And just as I was saying, I have so many Casey Jones. So it's just another Casey Jones. Looks great. Don't get me wrong. But you see the amount of Casey Jones at this point? We've never had Renette, and we've never had a true Utram. That's why I love it. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Wave 1 of NECA Toys, the Mirage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Mirage comics. Did you have the graphic novels or the comic books or what have you? Let's talk about it. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember... I was kind of like, ah, do I want to get these two? I'm like going overboard with Ninja Turtles, but yeah, bring on the more obscure Mirage characters and uh, I'm definitely in. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.